So welcome back to the lathe restoration series. Now this has actually been done a while ago, but we've just I've just been waiting for better weather to obviously paint this thing. But uh, first thing I'm doing, I'm just painting on some of this paint stripper just to loosen up the top layers of paint. Um, it's nothing too intense. I have got nitromores and such, but it makes such a mess. So this stuff isn't too bad. It really dries up, and then you can use the uh, the wire wheel or the um, soft sort of spongy pads on the grinder to get this stuff off so it's a bit, going to be a bit time lapsey um, but this is me just putting the stripper on letting that dry grinding that off then getting some of these specialty discs uh, surface prep discs um, to better take off the top layers of paint and I'll come back once all that has been done So that did take quite a lot of time to do that. Um, did it all in one sitting, but took majority of the day. Now I'm just rubbing the stand down with acetone just to clear any sort of grease or grime off the when I was grinding the, uh, the stand down. This is a red oxide primer. I'm using Tractol, uh, which was highly recommended on a lot of the forums and stuff that I was checking to, for information on the best paint to use. So. I'm using the Tractile Red Oxide Primer first, and then we go on to a Anthracite Grey. I'd look to try and get the box for colour, but in the end I just gave up and thought, well, this, is, this isn't a machine that I'm restoring to sell. It's uh, a machine that I'm restoring to use. So I just went with the colour that I thought I might like, and, uh, and you'll see that being put on in just a moment. What do you mean, if you so even though this tractile paint came highly recommended from a lot of users and it was the best price compared to some of the others like Paragon and stuff like that it almost seemed like this stuff, it said on the tin that it took four hours to dry, but it almost seemed like the paint was drying on the brush as soon as you was pulling it out of the tin. Um, so if you are looking to do the same thing, I wouldn't advise using the same paint. So I actually lost the footage of where I was moving the lathe to the garden to obviously clean and paint it. Um, I didn't really feel like filming getting it back in here because it was just as much of a bother. But I've just had to pull it from the garden where it's been cleaned. Uh, ground, degreased, painted through the utility into the garage. We flip this round here. So everything's pretty much finished, apart from the inside, which I'm not going to paint anyway, uh, and the top where the uh, the bed's going to go. I used Tractol paint after many recommendations from people, but uh, it left a should we say less than satisfactory finish? The paint was drying literally on the brush before you were putting it on the machines, but uh, made the best of a bad situation. I think the rest of the parts, because they're small, I'm going to see if I can thin the paint down a little bit and put it in the spray gun and spray them. Doesn't really matter too much about the stand anyway, but uh, the stand's in. I've got the stand on two pieces of wood just screwed in, so once I'd painted, this was actually upside down uh, in the garden, and then I just wanted to get a uh, get it ground before I brought it back in and then just put the red oxide pro in there just to stop it from rusting in case it was out there for longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, put it on these two pieces of wood just so as I'm moving it about in the garden um, and dragging it through. I'm not damaging the underside because I don't want that to rust either. A um, few key components that were rust prone before I painted it, they've had etch primer as well. 
so is the top because that's probably going to have the most um, wear compared to the rest of the stand but uh, now I'm just going to get it off its feet uh, find out where we need to put the holes for um, bolting this thing to the floor and then we're going to have to shim it and level the bed level the stand even, not the bed I'm using these roll plug through bolts, these are M12s, so I'm just going to use these, uh, drill the holes, fix these into the floor and then I'm going to shim the machine to get it level, shim the stand even to get level, keep getting that level. You get these from Screwfix and then the shims, I'm just using these, if I need anything more uh, fine then I can sort that out afterwards. Here I'm just using these shims just to level the bed. As long as it's generally level, I'm happy. The most important thing is that the machine is rigid. Uh, there's no flex in it whatsoever. Excuse me, I've been sweating a lot, but uh, that was an absolute pain in the ass. Now, if for some reason you're following this guide and you're thinking, I can do that and I'll do it the same way, these roll plug bolts uh, were a sack of shit. Um, excuse my French. Some, as I was tapping them into the holes, and the holes were being pre drilled to the correct specification, is what they tell you, um, these collars were moving over. This, uh, this flat edge here. So what they were doing, they were moving over, preventing the bolt from going any further into the concrete, but then you couldn't pull it out. So now if I'll leave it in that one back left corner, that one did that. Two of the bolts actually snapped when tightening, which is uh, a pain. So that was actually lucky because I was, I was just trying to tighten the bolts up. Um, and then the two front ones, it was lucky anyway that they came apart because they were in the wrong place. Luckily when I'd lined the back two up, um, let me try and get this in the shot here. Luckily when I'd lined the back two up, um, the, the lathe actually, the stand actually moved a bit further back. So drilling new holes, which you'll have seen me do, um, they've actually sat at the right place. Third thing is when you're hitting these in, uh, which you'll see I was hitting them a fair bit, um, the ends actually mushroom over to a point where you can't get the nuts on. So, tighten that all down, it's level, as good as it can be. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a chippy or anything, so I've only got one of these magnetic levels. But everywhere I've tried the bed, the uh, stand, I keep getting the terminology wrong, the stand is level, so that's perfect. And, I don't know if you're seeing me chunking on it, but it is rigid as. So, that's what I want. It doesn't really matter too much if it's not massively level, um, but it needs to be rigid, so it's rigid. What I'm going to do is I've got some spare of these, uh, I've got some uh, nylon ones actually, so I'm going to put them on top of those bolts so the bolts don't back out or loosen, and then I'm going to go have a beer and call it a day. See you in the next episode.